All stations, we are go for auto sequence start at T minus two minutes. LD is go for launch. Vehicles on internal power. AFTS is green and enabled for flight. Transiting logs system into recirculation. Anti geysering is disabled. Stage two, hard press for flight. High flow engine purge enabled. Deluge is active. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Electron to the pad, saving ground systems. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And liftoff of Electron from Launch Complex 2, leaving US soil for the first time and on its way to space up and over the Atlantic Ocean. All nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage now propelling the rocket um, at more than 700 kilometers an hour. We are hearing good calls from the teams in Virginia and Rocket Lab Mission Control. A clean ascent for Electron now nearly a minute into flight. You are looking at 56,000 pounds of maximum thrust from those stage one engines, but soon they'll be throttling down to support that HB pass to the maximum number. aerodynamic pressure point. Cleared max Q. There is the call out. Electron has cleared that first milestone and is continuing nominally. The nine Rutherford engines on the first stage, stage are throttling propulsion. back up only and all nominal. looks nominal for propulsion there. We are now at one minute and 32 seconds into flight with Electron moving at speeds of more than, or nearly more than 3,000 kilometers an hour now. now. The next major milestone will be those Rutherford engines on the first stage shutting off completely, expected to occur at around T minutes 26 seconds into flight. That will happen just before separation of the first and second stages, which then allows the Rutherford engine on the second stage to fire up and continue with the mission to low Earth orbit. The events are called out for mission control as MECO, stage separation, and stage two engine ignition. Meanwhile, those nine Rutherford engines are continuing to, to propel Electron at more than 6,000 kilometers per hour, two minutes and 10 seconds, 
into flight of Virginia is for launch lovers. Nico, confirm. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition. Excellent news there from our launch operators. Electron has had a successful MECO stage separation and stage two ignition. The next stage milestone will be separation of the rocket's fairing. We do this to lose unnecessary weight once Electron is through the Earth's atmosphere. Fairing jettison succeeded. And as we saw from Electron's onboard camera and heard from Mission Control, the rocket's fairing has successfully separated and fallen away, exposing the Hawkeye 360 satellites to space on their way to low Earth orbit. Our first launch from U.S. soil is going great so far. Guidance is nominal. Stage two propulsion, holding nominal. Coming up on four minutes into flight of Virginia HB is for launch lovers our 33rd electron mission. The rocket second stage is now reaching speeds of more than 9,000 kilometers an hour, powered solely by a single space optimized Rutherford engine. The second stage will take the payload to the height of the mission's orbital altitude before it separates with the kick stage, which will carry on to insert the mission into a circular orbit. Before that, we'll have a few more mission milestones to complete, including a swap of the batteries for the second stage engine, engine shutdown, and then final stage separation. Those events are coming up at around the six and nine minute marks into launch. Checking in on the clock, and we are just about T plus five minutes into the mission. Hearing nominal calls here from our launch operators in Mission Control in Virginia and Auckland. The second stage Rutherford engine is putting out a maximum of 5,800 pounds of thrust it's on its way to nominal. delivering our customers' payloads to orbit. At liftoff, the rocket weighed about 13 metric tons altogether. But since it's shed its first stage that stored the majority of the mission's propellant, along with nine of those Rutherford engine, Electron is down to one fifth of its liftoff mass, enabling that second stage engine to propel Electron past 11,000 kilometers an hour. We are coming up to our next event in the launch timeline, what we call the battery hot swap. This occurs on the second stage of Electron for the Rutherford engine, which switches over to a new set of batteries to power its electric pumps once the first pair are almost out of energy. Once the swap is made, the old batteries fall HPB away from Electron, and sometimes we see those shiny silver packs on seconds. the screen as they go. So let's keep our eyes on the screen and listen in for the call that battery hot swap has occurred. Throttle it down. Hot swipe successful. Battery jettison confirmed. Our AFTS vehicle control sustained. operator there reporting that the battery hot swap was successful and Guidance so continues our Virginia remaining. is for launch lovers mission. 
The second stage Rutherford engine is firing nominally and propelling electron past 16,000 kilometers per hour with that new high voltage battery discharge holding nominal. That second stage and the Hawkeye 360 satellites are now at an altitude exceeding 300 kilometers. Electron will continue with this ascent for the next two and a half minutes until we come up on some of our last actions to complete this mission for Hawkeye 360. They include the shutdown HPV of the second battery stage discharge engine, holding followed by separation of the kick stage carrying the payloads so that it can begin its first orbit of Earth before our scheduled payload deployment expected at around 57 minutes and 18 seconds into flight. While we're in the second stage burn, let's take a quick look back at the mission so far. So Electron lifted off the pad at 2300 UTC and performed a smooth first stage burn. Our first stage separation events were effortless as well as the light up of the second stage engine uh, in, in space to carry on with the mission. You can see it there moving the mission along at speeds of more than 21,000 kilometers per hour. Hawkeye's payloads will be deployed to a 550 kilometer orbit. Nominal. So with Electron now past 328 kilometers altitude, we have another Entered 200 or so kilometers to go until that final phase of the mission. Balance is in terminal, 22 seconds remaining. confirm. Stage three separation confirmed. Nominal transfer orbit achieved. And that is SECO and stage separation confirmed. Deployment of the Hawkeye 360 payloads to low Earth orbit is now a step closer with the shutdown of that final Rutherford engine and release of the kick stage into its first Great job on the nominal path orbit, path. everyone. The kick Fantastic stage separated work. into an elliptical orbit of Earth and will take the next 43 minutes or so to bring itself back around to the mission's nominal altitude of 550 kilometers. As it comes back close to that altitude, the engine on our kick stage called Curie will light up and propel the kick stage and the payloads into a circular orbit at that same 550 kilometer altitude. Once it's on the right path, the kick stage will deploy the payloads, Hawkeye 360 can begin operations of their spacecraft, and our role in this mission will be complete. We'll come back to those final moments when they're due at around the T plus 50 minute mark. But for now, we'll take a break on the broadcast and we'll be back with you ahead of payload deployment. So we'll see you here soon.